Number five, a pet store has 12 puppies, including five poodles, two terriers, and five retrievers. If Rebecca and Aaron, in that order, each select one puppy at random without replacement, find the probability that they both select a poodle. <clears throat> okay, so without replacement, this time makes a difference. So we're gonna look for the probability that they both select a poodle. So this is what we wanna look at this. Probability that, and I'm just gonna use P for poodle. Probability that, uh, no, I'll just write R and, R and A. R selects and Aaron selects a poodle. It's gonna be the same thing, but we're told without replacement. All right, so first, Rebecca choosing a poodle, there are five out of 12. So five out of 12. Now, assuming that she gets a poodle and does not put it back in there, that means that there's only gonna be 11 dogs left. And out of the five poodles, if she got one, there's gonna be four poodles left. So you have to subtract one from the number of poodles and one from the total. Um, if she got some other dog, I would select subtract one from the total, but not one from the poodle but we want both of them to get a poodle. So first, there's five. Once she selects one, there's only four left. And there were 12 dogs, now there's only 11 left. And we can reduce before we multiply. So we can divide both of these numbers by four. So divide by four, that leaves us with one. Divide by four, that leaves us with three. And then five times one is five, and three times 11, 30, three. <clears throat> Alright, so five out of thirty-three. Alright, number six says let two cards be dealt successively without replacement from a standard 52 deck. Find the probability of the event a spade dealt second given that a spade was dealt first. So we're doing conditional because we have that given that uh, wording. So we're looking for a probability that we get a spade second given that a spade was dealt first. All right, so <clears throat> the probability of a spade is what we gotta think about. Probability of getting a spade at first. Out of 52 cards, 13 are spades, okay, 13 out of 52. All right, but once you take one, so the probability of getting a spade once one has already been dealt, the second card being a spade um, means that we now need to take one away from both groups. So the probability that the second card is a spade, now there's only 12 spades, and there were 51 cards total left. So this is the probability, but we can reduce this, dividing both by three, and that will give us four out of 17. So the probability that the second card is a spade, given that the first one was a spade, is four out of 17. So you first find that probability, take one away to get the conditional. <clears throat> 